that are a motherfucker. Those are the things that are gonna make you grow, baby. What's up, baby? Nice. What? Get the pillow. Sleep over. Sleep over. Slumber party. <laughs> as soon as you brought it out, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. How you believe that? It's gonna fuck my neck up and shit if I don't have it. Yeah, for real. It's all weird. I gotta put my seat somewhere. I don't even know how I'm gonna drive. How was that two weeks in Vegas? Ah, uh, it was the worst time of my life on camera. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Leave that on there. Oh no. Leave that on there. Literally in Vegas, you can only stay like three days. Max. That's like the best. Max. That's like in and out. Yeah. yeah. That's a fitting Mr. shirt Walmart. you got on right there. Let's go. Like you knew. Oh, look, that shirt says small milk right there. Yeah, we're for this occasion. Let's go. Ricky we're just called that. Occasion. I hope I'm not crying later. Or now. No. So I like, kind of like, I like this one, how it's kind of classic, because you can't get it wrong with it. But I want to make the money sign instead of the, the clown. You want the lip sad face like that? May I just say like that? No. Oh, this one's old school too. No, nah, take off the dice. Nah, I'd really have the sad face. I don't like the mouth like that on the side. Just kind of like that, but I'm making more. A mm, little bit more sadder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also I kind of don't like it to be the clown look. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me see, go back one more. Let me see all those other ones. Yeah, I kind of like the ones you were just saying too. Now that I'm looking at all of them. Just take off the clown shit. Yeah, I can't remember what I said I was gonna do on the top of my leg. What were we talking about doing up here, do you remember? We couldn't get that far yet. Mm -hmm. It was your idea, you were like, I've always wanted to do a small now cry later in the back of someone's legs. I did say that. All right, something mm -hmm. like that. That one's pretty dope. Which one? That, those faces. Nothing? Yeah. But kind of like that, but in there. And just take off the, the, the lip thing. Like around his mouth? Yeah, just take off the, the, the shit around his like mouth. This, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. But the eye part would be pretty dope. You want the eyes to be those eyes? No, uh, the makeup around it, and I can make that into a, a, a money sign. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Now you sold me. Man, sometimes I wish I could just fall asleep and wake up and be done. <laughs> I heard the famous people be getting, like, put to sleep. Yo, Did they're you? putting him to sleep now. That's crazy. So, there's a guy in Vegas. I met him. I'm not gonna put a blast in me. But uh, he even makes him sign a waiver form. And he has an actual doctor to put him to sleep in the shop. And he does full back pieces. And yeah. Like, yeah, so like people fly in from like all over the place. I've heard of that before. Straight up. And then I heard sometimes people get put to sleep and have like two, three artists is working on them. Yeah, that's that shop. Yeah. Do you imagine? And then, but he has to pay each each artist like 2,500 yeah. bucks. Yeah, but still though, he's over here like, look, you want your whole back done in one set, look at, you're gonna, it's gonna cost about 10 grand. 10 grand, one shot. They were just driving around popping the moles off. Popping. That's how it was when I lived over on Walsam, but it, mainly it was me the one. <laughs> 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 and now obviously I don't even pop guns off, but I know homies are still like, now nah, you shoot it to the ground. <laughs> Fucking chopper on the ground on 4th of July. They, my homies make it like, and I'm not gonna say what group of homies. <laughs> but they make like January 1st and 4th of July like days they can pop off the guns in the city type shit. Like they would literally be in their backyard in a residential area 
with like choppers. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> tucka, tucka, tucka. And you're like, what? Like you, you can be down the street and be able to tell like all July 4th, the fucking the new year, all you hear is gunshots. And you can tell a gunshot as opposed to a black cat. Yeah. Cause people try to pop black cats and then shoot at the same time. And yeah, that shit don't go off. It's like, like the black cats are like, pa, pa, pa. the gunshots like, ta, 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 they try to shoot it in the same <laughs> rhythm, but you're like, no, 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 wait, no, no, that's not, mm-hmm. that's not black cats. Yeah, but we went, that was Stretch's house. Mm-hmm. So even Stretch's house, even that area, dog, it's just Marbach's done just come from Marbach all the way out to 1604, basically. Yeah, they just got my ass in my Escalade. Was, yeah, homie, I was right there at Incredible Pizza Aww. with my kids, and they came up to me, and they're like, what's up, Stax? What's up, baby? And I walked up to the car, and I'm like, what's up, guys? And it was like a bunch of youngsters. Fucking probably had 10 guns in the car, but they were all in, like, sheets, and the guy in the back seat's wearing blue rubber gloves, and they're like, and in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, these little kids are popping cars and shit, you know, because all them guns and sheets. I didn't think they were going to do it to my shit. was parked in the very front. But I go inside, they do two circles, and as I'm like kind of paying for the shit to get my kids to go into Incredible Pizza, my girl's like, babe, there's someone in our car. She sees all the way through the door out to the, yeah. and I fucking take off running out there, and they're fucking driving yeah. off, hauling. And they didn't get nothing, like I didn't have nothing, but they broke my window, they, you know, they took my damn uh, dignity. <laughs> Like, so what did you do with the, your tattoos? I'm like, shit. <laughs> Before I met Fernando? No, <laughs> Before I met him, I would just not do anything. They're like, I, I think I put some lotion on it when it's scattered up. I think you put like a uh, dirt? I don't know. <laughs> what up, did you ask? Then they're like, look, man, you work out with your tattoos? I'm like, uh, outside in the sun or in the gym? <laughs> They're like, either or. I'm like, yeah, both. Right after. <laughs> right after. Now I guess I got a good crew and like solid crew, you know, I don't really have to work outside too much or work out. And, but like, at some point, I think when we were doing the, maybe around the ankle or something, I didn't really have guys working. So I, didn't, I was out there in the sun, homie, just digging and it's concrete splashing up all over the fresh tat. You know, That's for real, idea. straight up. And I try to like, you know, obviously take care of the best I could. But, and then the work. next day he's like, Fernando, I don't know what ink you use, bro, but I think it's, it's just toxic. <laughs> no, I told him, I was like, I don't think my body likes that vegan shit. Did you put it on your story that you were working outside, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw all the sawdust from the chainsaw <laughs> all over your legs. I'm like, yeah, but that's nature. That's, that's natural. That's natural. I sprayed off with a water hose from the outside. There's no germs coming from there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is just. We're definitely. We're going to have to add some money signs. Yeah, he's got that money sign in his eye. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. Kind of. But I kind of. I kind of. Uh, so I feel like where that later is, I feel like there's a big old gap right here. You know what can go in there? Money signs. Little baby money signs. <laughs> money signs. I like So same size. Yeah, it's probably just my the my uh, the tattoos throwing it off the look. Yeah, right now it is. Hey, but you know what I was thinking? All on this side. Guess what's gonna go in there is filler. Money. Money signs. What? Nice one. Let me see the other one though. What'd you put on his eye? That's the cross? Yeah. I think it needs to look needs to look more holy. I don't know, is there a way we can make it look more crossy? That one looks like a money sign. You want this more cross? That looks more like, that looks like a money sign. It is a money sign. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we should, instead of a money sign, do a cross. Like, cause that's my good leg, you know what I mean? Like the Jesus leg. If I have a money sign on one side, right? Cause that's my evil. Like, I'm always out here trying to get this money. I'll do anything for it. I'll just get that, anything. No Not as much as Cali Muscle, though. <laughs> that guy, he really, really likes money. He'll do anything. 
two guys, one cup. You saw that? <laughs> yeah, it was Big Girl and Cali Muscle. Dang. And uh, Hyphy Whitey. Okay, was the cup. Leg. This left leg, bro, this is the first time it's been tattooed in about five years. Yeah. The right leg's like, come on, come at me. It actually is. Nice. Yeah, that little break made the fucking skin just like super pop. So what's gonna Thank happen you. with this one, bro? I'm telling you this right now, you're gonna have a bunch of cracking. On the scab, I guess. Yeah, like the scab's gonna really be, be more dense than the other one. Well, I'm gonna hope I fix that. Keep it KY or something, I don't know. Keep it moist. I got lots of KY, bro. I've been having that. <laughs> when I went down there, we had to have a generator hooked up just in case the powers kept going out everywhere, all over the place. I had two. You should, like, like that's my, like, my current status, like, two. Water. Yeah. Water. Yeah, yeah it's, it's on, like, the very tip of Agoria. Agoria, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice, man. It was super nice. I stayed down there, like, seven days. Beautiful. Yeah. Where else did I go? Bahamas? The beaches weren't all that, man. The beaches didn't... Uh, I was not surprised at the beach. I mean, I was surprised, but not in a good way. Clear water. Yeah. Like, there's really clear water. It didn't look too clear. Yeah. When I was down there, yeah, I stayed down there for like four days. And every time, I was like, damn, this is the Bahamas? I'm like, no, I'd rather be in like Cancun or in Puerto Rico or something. The water was beautiful, man. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Another amazing tattoo by my boy Fernando. Yeah. Hey, and I'm just not letting you guys know this. I, I want I remember so I want to share it with you guys. My boy travels to Vegas all the time. So if you're in Vegas or surrounding areas of Vegas, not just Texas, even though people travel like here from all over, right? Yeah. They come travel to meet this dude, yeah. They come all the way from there just to get tatted by my boy because they see how awesome his work is. But yeah, this guy travels to Vegas. So all my people in Vegas. If you even want to get on the books with my homie, he works out of a shop there in Vegas. You could obviously hit him up on his IG. It's going to be in the caption. Ask him the details. Get some work done by Joey Stacks Artists in Vegas, baby. You know what I'm saying? No excuses, no breaks. <laughs> Let's go, my dog. Appreciate you always. Look at the back of these legs, though. Oh, can you see them, really? Yeah, you can see them. They're under those plastic things? Yeah, I can see them. Yeah, Fernando always wants to put these damn things on me. They last about five minutes. And then I take them off. Let's go. But yeah, as always, go show my homie some love. Follow his IG. That's what it's in the caption for. Comment on some pics. Let him know you saw him on my YouTube channel. Make an appointment, guys. Show some love. Yeah, set up that appointment, baby. Let's go. I'm a black and gold guy. <laughs> so my the one I bought was actually all black with champagne at the bottom, but... It just inspires me to do my own custom paint job. The guy's gonna basically, we're gonna strip this whole thing down and paint it inside and out. I, I got well, money, you so can, I'll just strip all this. Well, yet. no, 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 no. Keep these, because the paintable handles yeah. are a premium. Everybody wants them. Yeah. I could have sold these fucking handles, okay? But when you Change go get into, lock, yeah, yeah, it's a pin. Take it, this cylinder slides out, put yours oh, in, put no, the pin. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know, we got that. You, yeah. you know what I mean? We're gonna paint all this. You can tell that the body ain't beat up. You know, it yeah, is solid. Look at this cab compared to the other one, Ricky. Yeah, that's way better. The other one was like, hey, bro, you can get your hand on the frame and grab where it connects to the cab and come out with a handful of just rust in. Because it was up in Wisconsin for... How's your frame? Good? Solid? The frame's good, man. It's just, it's, it's pretty rusty. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to... If, if you're taking this wheels, I, I thought you just wanted the wheels and the tranny. But if you want to take everything, I'm cool with that too. You'll save me the headache. Awesome. That. So I have this on mine that I'm going to use. Yeah. Hey, get my good side. I got you. This is my buddy Chris. Chris is Rick. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I did not cut any of the yeah, so, uh on your secondary unit. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, the AC was perfect on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. They they had redone it. It still had a full charge when I released it this mine morning. Was, mine was beautiful too, but yeah, yeah this one's good. Then hell yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow you can grab the tranny out, and then I'll bring you all the tires and anything left over, like the dash. I don't want. I'll bring it to you. And like I said, I got a legit facility as well. So I mean, even even if you can't get a hold of him, you'll know where I'll be. You know what I mean? Where everything. Well, he'll at. have the money for this thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's? Where are we going? Oh, I can text you address right yep. now. 
It was awesome meeting you guys. Pleasure, man. Go. All right. Y'all right, be safe. All right. I'll take you. Take care. This shirt weighs a few pounds too, though. Hey, you know what's crazy is 215, so probably like 210, really. You think about all this? Shit's heavy, though. Get these old elbows warmed up. It's crazy how I literally do triceps and like stretch my back and my everything all like, every day. Usually before I do anything. Legs. Nope, gotta do twice first. <laughs> gotta get that let's go baby pre-workout in me. It's not a lot of caffeine. It's just the perfect amount. I might come out with a high stim for you guys later. But I want you guys to see is, it's, it's how the pre-workout is formulated. It's how you really get a good workout. You get the good breakdown in the muscle. What a pre-workout is supposed to do. Not just be crazy thousand megs of caffeine bullshit. You're supposed to have focus, beta alanine. You're supposed to have absorption to the muscle. You're supposed to have a little bit of pump in there. You gotta make sure you're doing the right amount of everything. That way you build correctly, if that makes sense. You don't wanna mess up your receptors, guys, by abusing caffeine. Because then what's it gonna do for you when you're 50 years old? You know what I mean? You're gonna burn out all your receptors for all this shit. Take your shit in moderation and put in the motherfucking work. How about that? Look at that. Not even a full scoop. Ah. Let's go. Yes, I call him on Facebook and Instagram. But y'all were sitting, standing around together. Like, hey, I know this guy from the gym. Joey, right? Yeah, Joey. Yeah. My nephew's name is Miguel. Miguel? Okay, he was there at the at uh, Cowboys with us? Probably, I don't know. I didn't see the caption. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, who's that? <laughs> okay. I yeah. just had a comment. Hello. What's your name, bud? Alberto. Alberto. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's my I nephew. I mean, we talked before, but yeah. Yeah, I well, back when you Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, Alberto. Because I'm yeah. a lot bigger now, but. <laughs> okay. I'll see y'all. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, I can't get in this music when I'm supposed to be in this. <laughs> yeah. Again, this is a 12 pound weight. You know what I'm saying? This isn't a lot of heavy weight. It's just mind and muscle connection. It's gotta be the new tattoos. On the legs. <laughs> Always feel bigger when you get new tattoos. And more vascular. Thank you, Fernando. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be working out. Alright. Well, thank you anyway. I'm not getting my legs sweaty. What did I do last? The twelves there? some traps today. I've never hit traps. I haven't hit traps in like a decade. The boy Stax was born with traps. Oh yeah, I ain't done yet. Fucking shoulders are so pumped, it's hard for me to even pull my arms back. <laughs> okay, I wonder what this back looks like, though. Wow. That's why you can't, your trap's blocking it. My traps? Your trap's blocking it, it just stuck right there. The traps are just blocking the back? Yeah. Look <laughs> that under angle. More. More. Ah. ah, you weren't ready for those. I had it. Ah, look at that front tail fire. Fire! Ah, oh, look at that's the baby one. Ah, ah, 
It's not even chest day. I'm just trying to stretch it out, give you a little, a little stretch in there. Lightweight, mind the muscle connection, isolation. I'm gonna squeeze the back delts so hard. And I'm gonna push so much blood to those delts, you're not gonna believe it. Damn it, now I gotta go down and do this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Super set, baby. Please give me the strength, Jesus, for one more lateral set. The best one of all. With a twist. Fucking shoulders to hurt so much. Tomorrow I can't even lift up my fucking arms. Ah. Ah. Gotta get these abs right. It's the only way you get a big chest. If you got a strong core. Stretching. I wasn't even trying to do any type of straining, just stretching my, my delts all the way out. Just see how I'm stretching them all the way out, all the way to the back of the tricep, bro. Just stretching out. And I was doing no bending in the elbow. Focus. It's all about the focus. Look at those back delts. You see that shit? Mm -hmm. Jeez. This one's gonna have a little bit of tossing around. Still keeping that mind and muscle connection though. Don't sacrifice that form. Weight don't matter if you got fucked up form, baby. The guys at the expo, did you see the video? They're like, this dude's a lot bigger in person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the videos and stuff, and you look like a big dude. But when I'm in person with you, yeah. I'm like, hey, hell yeah. I tried, dog. But it really don't matter if I'm bigger than you or not. Are you more driven than me? That's the question. You may be bigger, but are you more driven? Because I'll outwork four motherfucking men. So you better be able to outwork five. If you go come fucking with stacks, baby. Can't compete. Things that are a motherfucker. Those are the things 
that are gonna make you grow, baby. Right after I just got doing that shit. I was like, man, motherfucker. I was like, things that are a motherfucker. And I'm like, I hear you, Jesus. I swear, talks to you in signs. It's not about the weight. Just did that full flex in the bicep right here. I'm gonna tear that bicep up way more just by doing it the right way, you know what I'm saying? Extend, though. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh. Cry later. This one didn't get finished, though. This shit was swelling up like crazy. Yeah, dude, that shit was elevated as fuck. So, yeah, he was like, Look, I'll do the outline, but the right side, you know, is good. It's just my body's like, Fuck you. Yeah, chill. It's like getting your fucking armpits at it, but in the back of your knee, you know? You don't want to roll on this pitch with no AC in your whip. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've done it. I, I grew up here, so I've grown around in San Antonio, Lake for over half my life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm 36, I've been blessed for like the last so like seven years with AC. <laughs> seven years, give or take, maybe even nine. My daughter, right now, my daughter right now is rolling around with no AC and she's fucking hurting up for us, man. You gotta yeah, you save up and yeah. get a fucking compressor. Hey, real talk, like, AC only breaks down to a few components, you know what I mean? And if you go to a decent person, they won't charge your arm and a leg. Like, I just put a brand new AC whole system through for 12 hundo on a Jag, on a Jag. So, you know, it's expensive, you gotta get like, but, you know, still, I was like, I don't got the 12 hundo really to just be throwing in this, but I was like, shit, I'm gonna keep that AC going. And I swear to God, I'm not regretting it. Hell no. I'm not, cause I did a little bit with no AC in it, you know, cause it would go out on me and I had to find out the hard way. You know what I mean? So I was like, fuck, I'll be paying 1200 right now. If I, <laughs> I wish I would have paid the 12. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'll let you get back to it, bro. Right. Good to see you, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will. yeah, hit me I up. I'll come by, look at it, but make, make sure everything out. I'll just give my breakdown. Okay, I'll All let right, you know. Later. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Just got done killing shoulders, man. I'm exhausted right now. Like, my whole body is tired and shit. But yeah, did what I had to do, came in, got paid. Gonna go home, take care of the kids, get them in the bath, and uh, still be a dad, you know what I'm saying? Went to work, just like you guys, taking care of business. No excuses, no motherfucking breaks. As always, appreciate everybody who's showing love. If you haven't yet, you better go cop that Stacks box. I know you see me taking that Let's Go Baby. Hey, that pre-workout is the truth, guys. You ain't ready for it. I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't ready for it. But if you wanna go get the pre-sale, it's on my website, stacksarmy.com. It says pre-sale. All the supplements, guys, are gonna be dropping probably towards the end of October. That's what I was saying in the beginning. This is a pre-sale, so everything's dropping at about mid or end of October, guys. You know, everything's still in the process. I got the companies putting everything in the containers, so it's coming. And y'all ain't ready for it, but you better get ready. Because once Stacks, No Excuses, No Breaks is on the scene, you ain't going to know what to do with yourself, baby. The BCAAs are even better than the pre-workout. Y'all know how much I love BCAAs. The hydration, the recovery for the muscle. I love that shit, baby. It makes you grow faster, guys. A lot of people don't realize recovery is key. 
So go to StacksArmy.com, copy that Stacks box. Get the deal, the one-time Stacks box for the first drop. I appreciate all the love and support from everybody. Go cop some of that Stacks Army merch. Don't worry, the big tees are coming. I know, the oversized tees. Stacks, oversized tees. Stacks, what is that oversized tee? What is that brand? It's my brand, homie, and it's coming soon. I appreciate you guys. StacksArmy.com. Cop some merch, because you ain't part of Stacks Army unless you're rocking that Stacks merch. Let's go!